Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Composoft Online English Training. Hi there, how are you? I hope your English is much better than before. Saya harap bahasa Inggris Anda much better, jauh lebih baik than before, dari sebelumnya. In lesson 21, you will start practicing how to make WH questions. Anda akan mulai belajar bagaimana mempraktekkan cara membuat WH question atau pertanyaan yang diawali dengan W atau H. Okay? For example, contohnya, what are you, who are you, where, when, why, and many others. And in this case, dan dalam kasus ini, we use what we call question words. Kita menggunakan apa yang kita sebut dengan question words. Question, for example, who, why, what, where, when, which, dan sebagainya. Okay. Uh, let me tell you frankly. Baiklah, saya katakan pada Anda dengan frankly, dengan terbuka, that to understand how to make WH questions, bahwa untuk memahami how to make WH questions, bagaimana membuat pertanyaan yang diawali WH, firstly, pertama-tama, you must understand well how to make yes-no questions. Oke? Okay? Pertama-tama, Anda harus mengerti dengan baik how to make, bagaimana membuat pertanyaan yes-no questions. For example, are you Bill Jones? Do you understand? Can you speak English? Okay. They are all yes, no questions. Mereka semuanya adalah yes, no question. Okay. Why? Because yes, no question is the basic mastery of this lesson. Karena pertanyaan yes, no question adalah penguasaan yang dasar daripada pelajaran ini. Okay. That is really the first step. Itu adalah benar-benar langkah pertama. Okay. If you don't understand how to make yes, no question, that means you will not understand how to make WS questions, of course. Okay. Jika Anda tidak mampu membuat yes, no question, tentu saja Anda tidak mampu membuat WH question. Okay. Right. Before we go to the main part of this lesson, sebelum kita pergi ke bagian utama dari pelajaran ini, Let's start warming up activity first. Mari kita mulai aktivitas pemanasan by doing the following reviews. Dengan melakukan review-review berikut ini. Oke? Okay? Right. Now, please look at review 1. Silahkan Anda lihat review 1. What you have to do in this review. Apa yang harus Anda lakukan. Have to. Itu artinya harus. What you have to. What you have to do. Oke? Okay? What you have to do in this review is to transform all the sentences into negative and interrogative. Okay? Of course, that's very easy. For example, number one, this is a book. This is not a book. Is this a book? Only that. Okay? Very simple. Piece of cake. Gampang sekali. Okay? I'll repeat. Saya ulangi. This is a book. This is not a book. Is this a book? Okay. That's your task. Itulah tugas Anda in review one. Okay, ready. Number one, this is a book. Good, this is a book. This is not a book. Is this a book? Number two, these are books. Good, these are books. These are not books. Are these books? Three, there's some water. Good. There is some water. There is not any water. Is there any water? Number four. You have some money. Good. You have some money. You don't have any money. Do you have any money? Five. She has some money. Good. She has some money. She doesn't have any money. Does she have any money? Six. You can be my friend. Good. You can be my friend. You cannot be my friend. Can you be my friend? Seven. Our father teaches English. Good. Our father teaches English. Our father doesn't teach English. 
Does our father teach English? 8. My brothers speak English. Good. My brothers speak English. My brothers do not speak English. Do my brothers speak English? 9. Your name is Charles. Good. Your name is Charles. Your name is not Charles. Is your name Charles? 10. His brother will come. Good. His brother will come. His brother will not come. Will his brother come? 11. The students were here. Good. The students were here. The students were not here. Were the students here? 12. The students came here last night. Good. The students came here last night. The students did not come here last night. Did the students come here last night? Okay, now look at number three. Okay. In number three, there are two alternative ways of giving interrogative sentence. Di nomor tiga ini, there are two alternative ways. Ada dua cara alternatif. In giving interrogative statement dalam memberikan neg uh, interrogative statement kalimat interrogative kalimat tanya. The first alternative alternatif pertama you can say is there any water? You use any. Anda menggunakan any. Is there any water? Okay. The second alternative you can say is there some water? Okay. Still you use the word some. Is there some water? Okay. So, you can either say, is there some water? Anda boleh mengatakan, is there some water? Or, is there any water? But both of them are correct. Okay, no need to worry. Tidak ada alasan untuk uh, khawatir, karena keduanya benar. Okay. Now, look also number four. Coba lihat juga nomor empat. You have some money. Here you also have two alternative ways of answering. Anda juga punya dua alternatif dalam menjawab. The first is, you have not, okay, you have not any money, okay? If you say, kalau Anda mengatakan you have not any money, that means you follow British grammar. Anda mengikuti grammar Inggris, you have not any money. But if you follow American grammar, kalau Anda ikut grammar Amerika, you say you don't, you don't have any money, okay? You have not any money or you don't have any money. But of course, both both of them are correct, okay? Also number five, she has some money. You can say she has not any money or she doesn't have any money. That's American grammar, okay? Right. Okay, now let's go to review two. What you have to do in review two, apa yang harus anda lakukan di review ini, di review dua ini, that you have to make a complete story. Anda harus membuat complete story, cerita yang lengkap, based from the following, based on the following clues, berdasarkan isyarat-isyarat ini uh, below, yang ada di bawah, okay? You can see from number 1 up to number 27. Anda bisa lihat dari nomor 1 sampai nomor 27, okay? To complete review 2, untuk menyelesaikan review 2, of course, you must understand the reading comprehension I gave you. Tentu Anda harus memahami reading comprehension. Bacaan yang kemarin I gave you yang saya berikan pada Anda in lesson 28. Yang saya berikan pada Anda di pelajaran 28. If you forget, you can refer to it now. Jika Anda lupa, of course you can refer to it now. Tentu Anda bisa merujuk kembali kepada bacaan itu sekarang. Read it again, baca lagi. Try to understand, coba pahami, then you can back again to this review. Anda bisa kembali ke review ini. Okay. Okay, let's now conclude. Mari kita simpulkan. What you have to do in review 2, apa yang harus Anda lakukan di review 2 ini, you make a complete story. Anda membuat cerita yang lengkap based from uh, based on the following 27 clues berdasarkan 27 isyarat ini. Oke. Okay. Uh, for example, look at number 1. Contohnya Anda lihat nomor 1. You can see Gustin. 
Okay, that's the clue. Itu isyaratnya. Of course, you say, my name is Gustin. Okay, as told in the previous reading. Sebagaimana diceritakan dalam bacaan kemarin. Okay. Number two, you can see another clue. Untuk nomor dua, Anda bisa lihat isyarat lain. Gustin Prayogo. Of course, you you say, my full name is Gustin Prayogo. Okay. Right? Do you understand what I mean? Right. You make a complete story again. Anda membuat cerita yang lengkap kembali based on these clues. Berdasarkan isyarat-isyarat ini. Okay? Ready? Number one, Gustin. Good, my name is Gustin. Number two, Gustin Prayogo. Good, my full name is Gustin Prayogo. Three, thirty years old. Good, I'm thirty years old. Four, not married. Good, but I'm not married yet. Five, born in Malang. Good, I was born in Malang. Six, January the third, nineteen seventy-nine. Good, I was born on January the third, nineteen seventy-nine. Seven, Japanese. Good, I'm Javanese. Eight, come from Malang. Good, I come from Malang. Nine, but Jakarta. Good, but now I live in Jakarta. Ten, a graduate of Ikip Malang, graduate, alumni. Good, I'm a graduate of Ikip Malang. Eleven, graduated in 2003. Good, I graduated in 2003. Major Biology. Good, my major of study is Biology. 13, like English. Number 14, important for career. Good, because I think English is very important for my career. 15. Last month's website. Good. Last month I saw a website. 16. ecomposoft.org. Good. It was ecomposoft.org. 17. Mr. Teguh. Good. And the teacher was Mr. Tegu. Okay. 18. Gave free lessons from. Good. He gave me some free lessons from 1 up to 6. 19. Tried all. Good. And I tried all the lessons. 20. Surprised because easy. Good. I was surprised because the lessons were very easy and fun. 22. After that, registered. Good. After that, I registered directly. 22. Now a student of. Good. Now I'm a student of e Okay. Next, 23, always practice. Good, I always practice the lessons diligently every day. 24, now I can speak. Good, now I can speak English very well. 25, besides that, active in grammar. Good. Besides that, I'm also active in learning grammar. 26. Authorized student. Good. I'm an authorized student of Ecomsoft. 27. That's why can contact. 
Good. That's why I can contact Mr. Teguh in 0819059779. Okay. Thank you. I know that you may have such a question. Saya tahu. You may have. Anda mungkin. May bisa berarti mungkin. You may have sub, such a question. Anda mungkin punya pertanyaan semacam ini. Sir, do I have to make this story perfectly the same as the reading? Pak, do I have to make? Apakah saya harus membuat this story, cerita ini, perfectly the same? Persis sama as the reading? Seperti bacaan? Of course not. Tentu saja tidak. Okay? You don't have to make perfectly the same sentence. You don't have to make perfectly the same sentence. Maksudnya, Anda tidak harus membuat sempurna kalimat yang sama sempurna as it is in the reading sebagaimana yang ada dalam bacaan. For example, contohnya, look at number 18. Lihat nomor 18, you can see a clue. Anda bisa melihat isyarat gave free lessons from. Okay? From this clue, dari isyarat ini, you can say, he gave me free lessons. Or, atau, he gave me some free lessons, or whatever, atau apa saja, as long as your sentence doesn't go out of story scene. Okay? Sejauh, kalimat Anda doesn't go out of the story scene, tidak pergi menyimpang dari tema cerita. Okay? That's what I mean. Okay, now let's go to review three. As usual, in Review 3, I'll ask you some questions about the story, of course. And in this case, dalam hal ini, you are Gustin Prayogo, and I will interview you. Dan saya akan menginterview Anda. Okay. What you have to do is very simple. Apa yang harus Anda lakukan, sederhana sekali, is to answer my questions, menjawab pertanyaan anda, saya, always, completely, selalu dengan lengkap. Okay. For example, what's your name, please? And you answer, my name is Gustin. Yeah, okay. Ready? One. What's your name, please? Good. My name is Gustin. Two. I mean your full name, please. Good. My full name is Gustin Prayogo. Tadi saya mengatakan, I mean your full name, please. Maksud saya, I mean your full name, please. Nama lengkap Anda. Okay. Three. How do you spell it? Good. Four. Are you 50 years old now? Good. No, I'm not 50 years old now. Five. How old are you? Good. I'm 30 years old. Six. You're married, right? Good. No, I'm not married yet. Seven. Are you Sundanese? Good. No, I'm not Sundanese. Eight. Do you come from Bandung? Good. No, I don't come from Bandung. Nine. Where do you come from? Good. I come from Malang. Ten. By the way, where were you born? Good. I was born in Malang. Eleven. When were you born? Good. I was born on January the 3rd, 1979. Twelve. Do you live in Malang now? Good. No, I don't live in Malang now. Thirteen. Where do you live? Good. I live in Jakarta. Fourteen. Are you a senior high school graduate? Good. No, I'm not a senior high school graduate. Senior high school, SMA. Senior high school graduate, tamatan SMA. Okay. Fifteen. What is your educational background? Good. I'm a graduate of Ikip Malang. Sixteen. Did you graduate in 2001? Good. No, I didn't graduate in 2001. 17. Did you graduate in 2002? 
Good. No, I didn't graduate in 2002. 18. What year did you graduate? Good. I graduated. I graduated. Kembali ke dalam bentuk lampau. What year did you graduate? I graduated in 2003. Okay. We go on. Kita lanjutkan. What's your major of study? Good. My major of study is biology. 20. But you like English, right? Good. Yes, I like English very much. Why? Good. Because English is very important for my career. 22. When did you see the website? Good. I saw a website last month. What was the name? Good. It was ecomposoft.org. 24. Who was the teacher? Good. The teacher was Mr. Tegu, 25. Did he give you free lessons? Good. Yes, he gave. Pertanyaannya give. Did he give? Anda menjawab, yes, he gave. Yes, he gave me free lessons. 26. Did you try the free lessons? Good. Yes, I tried the free lessons. 27. Were you surprised? Good. Yes, I was surprised. 28. Why? Good. Because the lessons were very easy. Okay. Did you register directly? Good. Yes, I registered. Yes, I registered directly. 30. Can you contact Mr. Tegu? Good. Yes, I can contact Mr. Tegu. 31. Why? Good. Because I'm an authorized student. Karena saya siswa yang sah. Okay. 32. What's his phone number? Good. His phone number is O. 8190597707 Here we are now section 1 our new lesson in lesson 29 how to make wh question okay maybe you still remember mungkin anda masih ingat there are two kinds of questions ada dua jenis pertanyaan yes no questions and wh questions Yaitu pertanyaan yes dan no, dan pertanyaan yang diawali W atau H. What is a WH question? Apa itu WH question? A WH question is a kind of question, adalah sejenis pertanyaan which begins, yang mulai, with what, dengan what, who, where, when, which, how, how many, how much, and still many others, dan masih banyak lainnya and still masih many others banyak yang lainnya these are what we call question words questions as you see below ini adalah apa yang kita sebut question words questions as you see below ini adalah apa yang disebut juga dengan pertanyaan yang diawali dengan question words as you see below seperti contoh-contoh yang di bawah Look at the question word. Lihat kali kata tanya, yaitu where, when, why, who, what, which, whom, whose, how, how many, how much, etc. etc. dan sebagainya. Okay, the way to make a WH question is very easy. Cara membuat WH question sangat mudah. Okay, you can look at the example number one. Okay, or type one. Anda bisa lihat contoh daripada nomor satu. Atau tipe satu. Oke. Okay. I will start with sentences with to be. Saya akan mulai dengan kalimat-kalimat yang menggunakan to be. Look at number one. Type one sentences with to be. You are learning at school. Oke. Okay. And then you make it into a yes-no question first. 
Anda membuatnya menjadi yes no question dulu. That's step one. Okay? To make it into a yes no question. Itu adalah langkah satu yang harus Anda buat. Yaitu membuatnya dulu ke dalam yes no question. Okay? What is the second step? Apa langkah yang kedua? The second step is to make it into a WH question. Okay. As you see in this example, the answer here, let's say in this sentence, is at school. Jawaban di sini, ya, anggap saja dalam kalimat ini adalah at school. At school is a place. At school adalah tempat. So, the correct question word, karena itu kata penanya for this, untuk ini, is where, of course. Tentunya kata penanya yang tepat adalah where. We cannot say what are you learning, okay? Or who are you learning? Kita tidak bisa mengatakan what are you learning, apa yang Anda pelajari, atau who are you learning, siapa yang Anda pelajari. Karena jawabannya adalah at school, okay? Because the answer is at school. Let's now continue to the second type, the second example. Number two, type two, sentences with model auxiliary, kalimat dengan kata bantu kerja. I think it's not necessary, saya kira tidak perlu, it's not necessary to give more explanation again untuk memberikan penjelasan yang lebih banyak to you kepada Anda. What model auxiliary is? Apa itu model auxiliary? Because we learned about this, karena kita belajar tentang ini in our previous lesson, pada pelajaran-pelajaran kita sebelumnya. Just to remind you, sekedar mengingatkan Anda, just to remind you that the meaning of auxiliary, bahwa dari, arti daripada model auxiliary, is kata kerja bantu or kata bantu kerja, whatever, apa saja. Maybe you, you still remember, yeah, what model auxiliaries are, apa saja model auxiliary, for example, will, shall, must, can, need, may, ought to, dare, used to, and still many others, okay. Please look at this sample, you will learn at school. This is the sentence, and of course you must do the first step to make this sentence into A yes, no question. Will you learn at school? Itu adalah langkah pertama Anda. Will you learn at school? And then, the second step or the last step is to make it into a WH question. Okay. Langkah kedua atau terakhir adalah membuatnya into a WH question. Because the answer is at school, karena jawabannya adalah at school, of course, we can only use kita hanya bisa menggunakan where as the question word. But in another case, tapi dalam contoh yang lain, of course we can replace, kita bisa menggantikan the question word where, kata penanya where, with the other one. Dengan yang lain, for example, when. Kita bisa menggunakan when. If the answer is about time, kalau jawabannya adalah tentang waktu, of course we use when. Tentu saja kita menggunakan when, kapan. Or what. Atau apa? If the answer is about something. Okay. Kalau pertanyaannya adalah tentang sesuatu. Okay. The WH question here, where will you learn? It's very easy. You just put, okay, Anda cukup meletakkan, you just put the question word at the beginning of the sentence. Anda cukup meletakkan question word di awal, at the beginning of the sentence. Di awal kalimat itu. Now we go to type 3, number 3. Sekarang kita pergi ke tipe 3, nomor 3. Sentences with verb. Ya, yeah, this is rather challenging. Ini rada menantang, rada challenging, menantang. Because of what? Karena apa? Because this kind of sentence doesn't have any auxiliary at all. Karena this kind of sentence, kalimat jenis ini, doesn't have, tidak memiliki any auxiliary, tidak memiliki kata kerja bantu at all, sama sekali at all. Okay? In this case, you can see, you can use one of the following. Dalam hal ini, you can use one of the following. Anda bisa menggunakan salah satu, do or does, do atau does, if the predicate is in the present form. 
Kalau predikatnya dalam bentuk present, bentuk sekarang, bentuk satu. As we can see in the sentence below. Seperti yang bisa kita lihat dalam kalimat below, di bawah. Or we can also use, no not we can also, but we use did. Kita menggunakan did. If the predicate is in the past tense form, kalau predikatnya dalam bentuk past tense, or the second form, atau bentuk kedua, atau masa lalu. Oke, okay. we learned about this in our previous lesson. Kita sudah belajar tentang ini di pelajaran-pelajaran kita sebelumnya. Oke, okay, now let's have a look. Mari kita lihat. You learn at school. No to be, no auxiliary. Tidak ada to be. Tidak ada auxiliary. So, what should I do? Apa yang harus saya lakukan? Of course, you must choose. Tentu saja Anda harus memilih. Do, does, or did. Here you choose. Di sini Anda memilih do. Do you learn at school? Apakah Anda belajar di sekolah? Yeah, this is your first step. Ini adalah langkah pertama Anda. Make it into a yes-no question. Membuatnya menjadi... Pertanyaan yes dan no. Okay. It's already done. Okay. If it's already done, kalau sudah rampung, the rest is very easy. Sisanya gampang. You just put question word at the beginning. Anda tinggal memilih. Okay. Meletakkan put question word. Kata penanya at the beginning, di awal. Where do you learn? Okay. The answer is at school. Okay. I think it's clear enough. Saya kira cukup jelas. I think it's clear enough. But if you still feel confused. Tapi kalau Anda masih merasa bingung. About this lesson, you can ask me. Anda bisa menanyakan pada saya. By email to teguhhandokosusilo at yahoo.co.id Okay. Of course, I will give you more explanation on this. Now we go to practice one. Transform into yes, no question. Ubahlah ke dalam yes, no question. That's very easy. Okay? I'll give you the example number one. You are learning in the morning. Are you learning in the morning? Okay? Right. Number two, please. You learn in the morning. Good. Do you learn in the morning? Three. You must learn in the morning. Good. Must you learn in the morning? Four. You will learn in the morning. Good. Will you learn in the morning? Five. You were learning in the morning. Good. Were you learning in the morning? Six. You learned in the morning. Good. Did you learn in the morning? Seven. John is learning in the morning. Good. Is John learning in the morning? Eight. John learns in the morning. Good. Does John learn in the morning? Nine. John can learn in the morning. Good. Can John learn in the morning? Ten. John shall learn in the morning. Good. Shall John learn in the morning? Eleven. John was learning in the morning. Good. Was John learning in the morning? Twelve. John learned in the morning. Good. And did John learn in the morning? Okay. I'm sure you have no difficulty on this. Saya yakin Anda tidak punya kesulitan on this dalam hal ini. Of course, if you still difficult, tentu kalau Anda masih merasa susah, you can refer back. Anda bisa merujuk kembali to our previous lessons. Pada pelajaran-pelajaran kita sebelumnya about how to make a yes-no question. Tentang bagaimana membuat kalimat tanya yes-no question. Okay. Right. Directly go to practice 2 now. Langsung saja go to practice 2. Pergi ke practice 2 now sekarang. Here I ask you to make a WA question from the underlined answer. Di sini saya minta Anda make a WH question, membuat pertanyaan WH question, from the underlined answer. Dari jawaban yang digaris bawahi. Look at the example, lihat contohnya. You are learning in the morning. Oke, okay. 
The underlined answer, jawaban yang digarisbawahi adalah in the morning, di pagi hari. Because it is concerning time, okay? Karena melibatkan waktu. Okay, because it is concerning about the time, the question word, kata penanya, adalah when. Okay, you are learning in the morning. Are you learning in the morning? This is the first step. Remember, ini adalah langkah pertama, ingat. When are you learning? Kapan Anda sedang belajar? The answer is in the morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe you can prepare it in written. Anda bisa menyiapkan dulu syarat tertulis. But if you think that it's not necessary, tapi kalau Anda ya rasa tidak perlu, it's not necessary, you can do it directly. Anda bisa mengerjakannya langsung, directly, secara langsung, orally, langsung secara lisan. Number one, you are learning in the morning. Good. Are you learning in the morning? When are you learning? Two. You learn in the morning. Good. Do you learn in the morning? Where do you learn? Three. You must learn in the morning. Good. Must you learn in the morning? Where must you learn? Four. You will learn in the morning. Good. Will you learn in the morning? When will you learn? Five. You were learning in the morning. Good. Were you learning in the morning? When were you learning? Six. You learned in the morning. Good. Did you learn in the morning? When did you learn? Seven. John is learning in the morning. Good. Is John learning in the morning? When is John learning? Eight. John learns in the morning. Good. Does John learn? Tidak pakai S. Does John learn in the morning? When does John learn? Nine. John can learn in the morning. Good. Can John learn in the morning? When can John learn? Ten. John shall learn in the morning. Good. Shall John learn in the morning? When shall John learn? Eleven. John was learning in the morning. Good. Was John learning in the morning? When was John learning? Twelve. John learned in the morning. Good. Did John learn in the morning? When did John learn? Okay. Right, we go to practice three now. This is the last challenge. Ini adalah tantangan terakhir. Here again, I want you to make a WH question from the underlined answer. Di sini kembali, here again, di sini kembali. I want you, saya ingin Anda, to make a WH question. Membuat WH question from the underlined, underlined, tuh garis bawah. From the underlined answer, and as a guide, sebagai petunjuk, I give you a question word in bracket. Saya memberikan anda sebuah question word kata penanya in bracket dalam kurung. So it will become easier, akan menjadi mudah for you to make it. Look at the example below. Coba lihat contohnya di bawah. You are learning in the morning, okay? You see the underlined answer. Anda bisa lihat the underlined answer is morning. Okay. And the question word in bracket dan kata penanya dalam kurung adalah when. Okay. You begin with step one. Are you learning in the morning? Okay. And then when are you learning? The answer of course. Jawabannya tentu saja in the morning. Okay. Again, maybe you can prepare it, prepare it in written first. Kembali, Anda mungkin bisa menyiapkannya secara tertulis dulu. And when you get ready, dan jika Anda sudah siap, you can do it orally. Okay? So, let's now start with number one. You are learning in the morning. Good. Are you learning in the morning? When are you learning? Two. 
you learn English. Good. Do you learn English? What do you learn? Three. You must learn diligently. Good. Must you learn diligently? How must you learn? Four. You will learn at school. Good. Will you learn at school? Where will you learn? Five. You are learning at seven. Good. Were you learning at seven? What time were you learning? Karena jawabannya adalah at seven, kata penanya yang tepat adalah when atau what time. Both of them are correct. Keduanya benar. Six. You learned with John. Good. Did you learn with John? With whom did you learn? Dengan siapa anda belajar? The answer, jawabannya, with John. Dengan John. Seven. John is learning American English. Good. Is John learning American English? What English is John learning? Eight. John learns every day. Good. Does John learn every day? How often does John learn? Seberapa seringkah John belajar? How often? Okay. Orang Amerika mengatakan how often, often. Orang Inggris often. Okay. Nine. John can learn three books. Good. Can John learn three books? How many books can John learn? Ten. John shall learn English books. Good. Shall John learn English books? What books shall John learn? Buku apa yang John akan pelajari? Eleven. There are five apples. Good. Are there five apples? How many apples are there? Okay. Twelve. There is much water. Good. Is there much water? How much water is there? Okay. Thirteen. They like green apples. Good. Do they like green apples? Which apples do they like? Apple yang mana? Which apples do they like? Okay. Fourteen. That is my book. Good. Is that my book? Whose book is that? Atau whose is that book? Boleh. Okay. Whose is that book? Atau whose book is that? Okay. That is my book. Is that my book? Whose is that book? Boleh. Atau whose book is that? Fifteen. You read my book. Good. Do you read my book? Whose book do you read? Buku milik siapa yang anda pelajari? Because the answer, karena jawabannya adalah my. Okay. Whose book do you read? The answer, you read my book. Okay. Okay, let's have a break. Kita break sebentar. Mungkin pelajaran ini mungkin agak memerlukan kecermatan. Karena itu saya minta Anda mengulang-ulang untuk pelajaran 29 ini. Kerjakan secara tertulis, buka kamus, baru terapkan secara lisan. Karena tujuan kita adalah lisan. Oke. Okay. Kalau Anda melanjutkan pada step kedua nanti, pada level 2, walaupun tidak wajib, itu tujuan daripada level 2 nanti adalah productive speaking. Di mana saya mengajarkan Anda membentuk kemampuan menyerang, productive speaking. Kalau dalam level 1 ini, receptive speaking. Jadi ibarat silat, saya hanya mengajar Anda menangkis, menangkis serangan, receive, menerima serangan, receptive speaking. Tapi pada step kedua nanti, level 2, saya membentuk kemampuan menyerang Anda, productive speaking. Oke, okay? itulah sebabnya kenapa WH question ini, kenapa pelajaran tentang WH question harus sangat benar-benar dikuasai. 
sebagai pondasi yang kuat untuk melakukan serangan-serangan nanti. Oke. Okay. Tapi tidak wajib, jadi Anda tidak merasa harus melanjutkan ke level 2. Level 1 sudah cukup, Anda mampu menghadapi job interview. Seperti yang saya janjikan, Anda memiliki pronunciation yang benar, yang jarang orang miliki. Dan tentu saja, uh, fondasi jurus-jurus dasar-dasar yang bagus, dasar-dasar speaking tentunya. Anda bisa kembangkan sendiri, misalkan dengan membeli Living English Video, Living English Conversation, di situ Anda... Belajar bagaimana percakapan di restoran, di sekolah, berkenalan, menyatakan penyesalan dan sebagainya Anda bisa belajar independently secara mandiri, jangan tergantung pada guru Oke okay. Let me now give you a homework Baiklah, saya berikan Anda PR Practice for make as many WH questions as possible Membuat sebanyak mungkin WH question Oke, okay. as you can see in number one seperti bisa Anda lihat di nomor satu, You read five English books diligently at school every day. Here what you have to do is to make six WH questions from the underlined answers. Di sini apa yang harus Anda lakukan adalah membuat enam WH question dari underlined answers. Dari yang digaris bawah yaitu every, at school, diligently, books, English, 5 and read. Okay? Totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No. 7. Sorry. 7 WH questions. Okay? Number 2. You will go to school with my brother tomorrow because the underlined answers. Karena gar, uh, ya, jawaban yang digaris bawahi. Tomorrow brother will go to school to school and go. So you have to make 5 WH questions. Anda di sini diminta membuat 5 WH question. For number 3, untuk nomor 3, because the underlined answers are house, my, songs, beautiful, five, and singing, there are six. So, you must make six WH question. Okay. Anda harus membuat 6 WH question. Okay. Do it in written, kerjakan secara tertulis. And, uh, in your spare time, saat waktu luang Anda. And then the last, yang terakhir, I give you another reading comprehension. Saya berikan Anda bacaan yang lain. The title is something about my job. Judulnya adalah sesuatu tentang pekerjaan saya. Let me read it for you. Saya bacakan dulu untuk Anda. Hello, my name is Sira Murakaton. I'm Phi. I come from Cambodia, but I live in Indonesia now. I moved to Jakarta five years ago. I'm now a manager at PT Sampurna. About three years ago, in 2007, I was an English teacher at a private school. I taught elementary school at the time. My salary was 1.5 million a month. It's not a good salary. Because I'm married already. I have one son and one daughter. In 2008, I applied for a new job at PT Sinar Jomas. It was in Serang. I applied for the position of marketing staff. I was successful. I started my career there and I got better salary. I got three millions a month. Of course. In January 2009, I resigned. And I moved to PT Sampurna. I'm a marketing manager now. And of course, I earn high salary every month. It's around 15 million a month. I'm very happy. Okay? Seperti biasa, Anda nanti pahami bacaan ini, bukan dihafal. Pahami, karena nanti pada pertemuan ke berikutnya, pada pelajaran 30, saya akan menanyakan ini semua kepada Anda. Okay? Saya sangat mengharapkan masukan kritik saran dari Anda karena ini adalah pertama kalinya kita menyelenggarakan kursus Bahasa Inggris Online yang tentunya masih prototipe, masih jenis yang pertama, banyak kekeliruan, kesalahan, karena itu masukan dari Anda sangat saya perlukan. Jangan suka untuk SMS langsung ke 0819 0597790707. Oke, okay. again thank you very much for today. Assalamualaikum.